Welcome to my video. In my videos you will not only find famous quotes and proverbs but I will also explain their meaning. Without further delay let the video begin. Do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. This quote says that, while there is truth in the saying that, those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it, to successfully start over, we have to let go of what was and concentrate on what is. It is better to conquer yourself, than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you, not by angels or by demons, heaven or hell. Here, counted amongst the most famous Buddha thoughts, it means that no matter your personal goals, or what you wish to achieve in life, nothing is as essential as conquering yourself. By this, he meant that first, and foremost, you should focus on overcoming your bad habits, and negative traits. You should strive to gain control of your thoughts, desires, and reactions. You will achieve true victory only once you have risen above your ego and mastered yourself. If you knew what I know about the power of giving, you would not let a single meal pass without sharing it in some way. Means, the journey towards spirituality begins with generosity. This inspirational quote by Buddha emphasizes the importance of generosity and the power of giving. Practicing generosity makes life much easier for you and those around you. Not only does helping others make your heart feel more substantial and lighter, but it also leads you to new levels of peace and happiness. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. This quote says that, yet another fantastic Buddha thoughts, that provide deep insights into how happiness works. Happiness is contagious, and free of cost. Even the most minor acts of kindness, like paying a compliment or just giving a friendly smile, can make someone extremely happy. Moreover, spreading happiness will cost you nothing, and it is infinite. It means that you can use up, and share as much of it as you want believe nothing, no matter where you read it, or who said it, no matter if I have said it unless it agrees with your own reason, and your own common sense. Listed amongst the essential Buddha thoughts, this quote does not encourage you to be cynical or distrusting. It asks you to think for yourself, and be true to those thoughts. It encourages you to base your thoughts, on your own experience rather than someone else's, these words of wisdom, suggest you follow your experience-tested truth, and trust your logic, common sense, and rationality over the words, or advice of others. The tongue is like a sharp knife. Kills without drawing blood. The meaning behind the quotes, this is one of the wisest Buddha thoughts, that emphasizes the power of speech. He compared a blunt tongue to a sharp knife, saying that speaking mean or unkind words can hurt people deeply. So, while saying something or speaking your mind, always consider the feelings of others. Make sure you don't say something that can hurt someone's feelings. Speaking rudely or rashly can sometimes have grave consequences, and it is essential to keep this in mind especially in a state of anger. Holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Means, it is prevalent for people to hold a grudge or harbor resentment against someone for a long time. Whether the source of your anger is a significant blunder or just a slight misunderstanding. This quote tells you that keeping negative emotions like anger hatred, and resentment bottled up inside you, is harming no one else but you. It gives birth to stress, 
and negativity and starts to affect your relationship with those around you. No matter who your anger is directed towards, holding on to it only harms you. It is a man's own mind, not his enemy or foe, that lures him to evil ways. Listed among the most famous Buddha thoughts, these words of wisdom explain the importance of disciplining your mind to lead a happy, healthy and peaceful life. Your mind is the source of both happiness and unhappiness. Whether your objective is to enjoy good health or just bring happiness to yourself and your family, you must learn to control and discipline your mind to achieve this. Once you have done that, no one can lead you astray. It is better to travel well than to arrive. This quote says that it is meant that every single step of the way should be appreciated and acknowledged as being just as important as the destination or arrival. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. This quotes represents one of the most profound words of wisdom of all time. It is a teaching for people of all walks of life that the real source of peace, love, and happiness is in your heart and nowhere else. The way is not in the sky. The way is in the heart. Remember, only we can save ourselves, and we do that not by looking outward, but by looking inward. This Buddha quote reminds us that behind everything we say and everything we do is first a thought. And behind that thought is a reason or a why. We are what we think. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. Here Lord Buddha says, I strongly believe is whatever happens in our life is the one which we have already thought of in our mind. Should you find a wise critic to point out your faults, follow him as you would a guide to hidden treasure. Meaning of this quotes is, in a world of competition, from our careers to the way we live our lives, constructive criticism or genuine guidance is rare to find. When we find someone willing to share their wisdom for our betterment, it is best to take their word. All conditioned things are impermanent. When one sees this with wisdom, one turns away from suffering. This quote says that, all of us are conditioned in a certain manner towards life, that we should behave a certain way, live a certain life, achieve certain things. Once we realize that, none of them are as perpetual as we believe them to be, will be released from most of the sufferings in life. Know from the rivers and clefts, and in crevices, those in small channels flow noisily, the great flow silent. Whatever's not full makes noise. Whatever is full is quiet. This quote says that, when a mind is calm and filled with wisdom, there is no need in there to disturb the tranquility. Whereas the emptiness will cause one to seek out anything to fill the space. Being deeply learned and skilled, being well trained in using well spoken words, this is good luck. The meaning behind the quotes, good luck is not faded, it is attained from being skilled, disciplined and trained enough to reach for the goal. The knowledge gained and stored becomes good luck. I will not look at another's bold intent on finding fault, a training to be observed. The meaning behind the quotes, the idea behind this, is that if you look at other people's dishes in search of faults, you will never be satisfied with your own cooking. Radiate boundless love towards the entire world. Meaning of this quotes, boundless, meaning without limit. Boundless love, meaning love without a limit. Drop by drop is the water pot filled. Likewise, the wise man, gathering it little by little, fills himself with good. Meaning of this quotes, Buddhism is not just a religion, but an art of living life and finding content within ourselves. 
The entire process of getting enlightenment takes discipline, devotion, and patience. Following Buddhism makes our vision wider and wiser. It brings our attention towards positivity and new learnings each day. Delight in heedfulness. Guard well your thoughts. Meaning is this through simple lines. Lord Buddha wants to tell us that how our thoughts and feelings are shaping our life. We are becoming what we are thinking most of the time. Similarly, we are attracting things in life as per our feelings. In whom there is no sympathy for living beings, know him as an outcast. Here Lord Buddha gave us a different perspective to look at the world. We often practice what we learn from our experiences. If someone is being harsh with others, we should try to find the root cause of such actions. Hatred is never appeased by hatred in this world. By non-hatred alone is hatred appeased. This is a law eternal. This quotes represents, people have been hating each other for a long time. But it doesn't make things better. In fact, it makes things worse. The only way to stop hatred is to not hate others. Ardently do today what must be done. Who knows? Tomorrow, death comes. This quotes represents, if you know you will die tomorrow, then you want to practice as much as possible, so we can come closer to escaping the wheel of suffering and not go into deeper. According to Buddhism, the fruit of karma is what we experience. To support mother and father, to cherish wife and children, and to be engaged in peaceful occupation, this is the greatest blessing. This quotes represents, finding peace doesn't mean, that one needs to leave their family, and friends to become a saint. It is all about accepting whatever the universe, has to offer with open arms. It is not a task for an awakened soul to understand, the difference between love and attachment. Resolutely train yourself to attain peace. Means, peace is not something we can wake up one day with. Peace is a state of mind that is learned over time. Peace is realizing the good in life and focusing on the positives instead of the negative. It is in the nature of things that joy arises in a person free from remorse. Meaning of this quotes, Buddhism is the mantra of becoming a happy and peaceful soul away from hatred, envy, guilt, and fear. Anyone can achieve the state of enlightenment only if they forgive others and themselves. Whatever precious jewel there is in the heavenly worlds, there is nothing comparable to one who is awakened. Meaning of this quotes, most of us find ourselves trapped in the rat race of getting more money, success, and fame. An awakened one never runs after anything because he knows whatever belongs to him will find its way to reach him. Just as a solid rock is not shaken by the storm, even so the wise are not affected by praise or blame. Meaning of this quotes, people who are wise are not affected by what people say about them. That is to say, it doesn't matter what people think about them. They are not affected by other people's opinions. What matters to the wise person is what they actually think, not what others think. Purity and impurity depend on oneself. No one can purify another. This quotes represents, your character reflects in your thoughts and actions. No one can control the way you think and how you perceive things in life. No master can hold your hands to walk the road to wisdom. It's your journey with your own experiences. There is no fear for one whose mind is not filled with desires. This quotes represents, fear of losing money, position, fame, loved ones makes us a confined personality. Our expectations 
and desires are just obstructions. We often get scared, if our plans are not executed the way we want, this fear restricts our vision, and stops us from finding better options. If we could see the miracle of a single flower clearly, our whole life would change. Meaning of this quotes, wisdom gives you the power to question, and find answers yourself. Most of us are standing on a hamster wheel with no motive. We need to recognize, appreciate and enjoy the natural mechanism of life. Your work is to discover your work, and then with all your heart to give yourself to it. The meaning behind the quotes, it is important to be aware of your intentions and actions. An awakened soul knows his purpose in life and devotes himself to it with honest intentions. Thanks for watching.